What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be telling you the top 10 best bows in Skyrim. Now I know a lot of other YouTubers have already done this, but this top 10 is based on numbers and usefulness, and a bit of common sense. So I will be explaining where needed, why each bow is in that position. Also, if you want to find any of these weapons for yourself, I have some guides in the description on how to obtain them all. For argument's sake, we are discarding the enchanting skill and the smithing skill. All the bows in this video can be upgraded at a grindstone. We are also going to be including crossbows in this video, because I feel that they fit into the same category as bows. So without further ado, in at both number 1 and 2, we have the Daedric Bow with the base damage of 19, and the Dragonbone Bow with the base damage of 20. I'm going to summarise both these bows together, because they're very similar. Because the bows are not unique, they are left open for you to enchant them yourself. However, they're pretty heavy, so the rate of fire is about 0.4 shots a second. Now with a skill of 100 smithing and a little bit of know-how, it's not a secret that you can make this bow the best bow in the game. But as I said before, that's not the point of this video. That said though, you can't go wrong with this bow. It will always remain a solid choice of a weapon. At number 3 we have Fimril's End. This bow has a base damage of 13. It also delivers 20 points of frost damage to both health and stamina. Frost also slows the target for 3 seconds. With this bow you're doing 33 damage per shot and slowing your target. And on top of that you're also removing their stamina, which means if they do get close enough to hit you, they probably won't be able to power attack you. Grabbing the 4th spot on the list is the Stalerim Bow. With a base damage of 17, it's not as powerful as the Dragon or Daedric Bow. However, if you put a Frost Enchantment on this, it will be 25% stronger than normal. So for example, if you enchant it with 30 Frost damage, then it will actually do 37.5 damage for a total of 54.5 damage. And that's excluding all the other perks that affect enchanted weapons. I know I broke the rule I made at the start of the video, but the Stalrim bow is an exception to that rule. Number 5. The next bow on the list is an underrated one. The Bow of the Stag Prince. With a base damage of 16, it's nothing to snigger at. Take a closer look at its unique enchantment. The wielder receives an increasingly powerful blessing for every 20 animals killed by the bow. For each 20 animals you slaughter, you will get 5 points more damage. The damage of the bow is capped at 25. That actually makes it the strongest base damage bow in the game. But damage isn't everything. That's why at number 6, we've got the Black Bow of Fate. Now let's just talk about this for a little while. Other YouTubers claim that this is the best bow in the game. So the bow has a base damage of 13. Its unique enchantment gives it a 50% chance of absorbing each of the three attributes, Stamina, Health or Magicka, meaning that on any given strike, you may absorb one, two or even three attributes. Now that's pretty damn good. However, let's just think about that for a second. Okay, bows require two hands. It would be very situational to want to be absorbing Magicka, because you need another hand to cast a spell. So that's not really very useful to us as an archer. The same goes for stamina. Only at higher difficulties like Expert Plus do I really rely on running about so the enemy can't hit me as often. And then we have Absorb Health. Great, you have a 50% chance to do a total of 38 damage. But Absorb Health. To be honest, most of the time when we play an archer, we don't really want to be close enough to lose health in the first place. You try to dodge spells and keep your distance. But don't get me wrong, Absorb Health and Stamina are always going to be useful. That that's why it's so high up on my top 10. But it gets to the point where you think, well, why don't I just use a Dragonbone Bow and kill them in one or two hits instead of using the Black Bow of Fate, where it will take four hits, but I have a chance of regenerating some health that I lose in the process of taking four hits to kill them. Uh, no. Damage is just better, especially when we have sneak attacks. That is why this is not the best bow in the game. It is very good in some situations, however, like prolonged boss battles. 
Now, some of you might be thinking, ESO, what about the Conjured Bow? Well, I'm not sure. It's worth a mention, isn't it? It does the same damage as a Daedric Bow, but requires level 50 Conjuration to use. It also uses unlimited Daedric Arrows, which is pretty good, as Daedric Arrows are really rare. It's the only bow in the game that you can carry with one hand. So you can carry a dagger or a spell in the other hand and then just conjure it when you need. The drawbacks are that you need the silent casting perk in the illusion skill tree that requires level 50 illusion to get. If you don't get it, people will hear you when you conjure the bow, which isn't the best thing if you're sneaking about. You also can't improve or enchant the bow. That said though, if you have the conjuration skill, you can get this bow very early on in the game. I'll leave a location guide to it in the description. Anyway, the Conjuration Bow does not have an official place on the list, because it's technically not a bow. If it did have a place though, it would probably go about here, for its versatility and its high damage. Next, at number 6, we have this hidden gem, Zephyr. This bow has a base damage of 14. However, it has a unique enchantment that allows you to fire 30% faster. That means that you can unleash an arrow about every 1.5 seconds. So for example, every one shot you fire on a dragon bone bow hits for 20 points of damage. You can fire two arrows with the Zephyr bow to hit for a total of 30 points. That's excluding the damage of the arrows on top of that, so it would actually do even more damage. This bow has the highest damage per second in the game. Its only downside is that at higher levels, the three times bonus for sneak attacks means it does less damage but it's a fantastic early to mid game weapon. Number 7, the Nightingale Bow. I think this is probably an old favourite of the community. With the Nightingale armor set, you definitely look the part. Anyway, this bow has a base damage of 19, the same as a Daedric Bow. The enchantment on this thing is pretty underrated. It causes 15 points of instant shock and 30 frost damage, and also slows the target down for 3 seconds. That 3 seconds is long enough to draw your bow and fire again and again. Actually it's long enough to keep two people consistently slowed, which is exactly what an archer wants. Anyway, do the maths. The total damage is 64, and it also has a nice slowing effect. Pretty good. Now, just ahead in my opinion, it was a tough choice. Ezreal's bow in at number 8. This bow is actually very good if you can do maths. The base damage of the bow is 13, plus it does 20 points of sun damage. That's 33 damage each shot. A dragon bone bow only does 20 and it also fires slower because it's heavier. And not to mention that if the enemy you're firing at is undead, then you'll do triple sun damage. That's 60 damage. So versus undead, this bow does 73 damage. That's a lot of damage. It also makes it the best bow in the game, versus Undead. Also, considering you can change the time from day to night, depending if you're a vampire or not, and rain down a solar storm that does area of effect damage, you can argue the point that this is in fact the best bow in the game. Lastly, at number 1, the best bow in the game, for those of you with some wit you already know it, it's the Dwarven Crossbow. I've already done a whole video on crossbows versus bows, which I'll leave a link to in the description, but just to summarise, the Dwarven Crossbow has a base damage of 22. It's a lot slower to fire than the bow, but you can run round with it already ready to fire, so you don't need to load it. Also, all crossbows ignore 50% of armour, not to mention that the fact that as well as ignoring armour, you can enchant your crossbow with another effect of your choosing. So that's two enchantments, and three if you have 100 enchanting. There are also elemental bolts available, which do more damage than arrows. There are a few other points and flaws, but I don't want to make this whole video about crossbows. Even though the numbers don't lie, I still personally prefer using the bow. But there you have it, the top 10 best bows in Skyrim. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and if you want one of these bows for yourself, then be sure to check out the location guides in the description. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Or you can just catch me live on Twitch at ESO YouTube.